Chapter 7 When Technology and Humanity Cross Throughout the years, the continuous study and discovery of humans has led to the vast improvements in the field of science and paved way for the development of new and modern technologies that has have helped transform so many aspects in human life. In fact, it is the best state as you may say. We humans went from wood, stone, bronze, and iron down to steam, electricity, factory automation, and to the internet world. Today, our modern technology has become significant in our lives. Technology continues to develop for the betterment of our society. It has given us quick access to everything as technology created amazing tools and resources, opened so many doors of opportunity, and put in useful information at our fingertips. We are introduced to the world of applications, games, and even social interactions. With all of these revolutions, technology has also made our lives easier, faster, better, and more fun. For the learning objectives in this video, we will first know the different technological advancements and their roles in society, discuss the advantages and disadvantages of emerging technological dilemmas faced because of these modern technologies, and learn about robotics and humanity. To start with, let us learn first the meaning behind the word technology. Technology came from the Greek word techne and logos. Techne which means art, and logos which means word or discourse. To put them together, technology means discourse on arts. Now, we cannot deny the fact that technology became some form of necessity rather than just being a want. Art is no longer the topic. Technology is already an inevitable part of the society. Technologies started as human civilizations that aim to develop tools necessary for their survival. Today, they help to aid our lives to become easier and people all over the world use these technologies every day to accomplish different purposes. Examples of technological advancements. Let's start off with the television set. Television is mainly used as platform for advertisements and information dissemination. According to statistics, 92% of urban homes and 70% of rural homes own at least one television set. Filipinos are believed to have this big fascination for television during free time or any time of the day when they have nothing important to do. TV serves as a recreational activity and stress reliever to most families. Second are the mobile phones. Humans use it for different purposes such as communication because it offers services like texting and calling. It also includes applications like Facebook, Spotify, Instagram, and many more. Other than communication, Mobile phones are also used by people in their work. As the pandemic strikes, everything turned upside down and suddenly everything became more of an online transaction and works are done through online. More than half of Filipino population own at least one mobile phone. Lastly are the computers and laptops. Computers and laptops can be used to surf the internet and communicate. They are also important in work, school, and others. There are some Filipino families who own more than one computer or laptop, while some own at least one computer or laptop. Laptops have been available to the public. As time passed by, humans were able to see the evolutions of these technologies. From its first design, large and occupies a big space for buildings to a portable and handy one. From simple to smart and to more advanced features. Despite the good intentions of technological development and advancement, there are still advantages and disadvantages present. Ethical dilemmas are faced because of the technological advancements. What are the different advantages of modern technology? Advantages would include convenience as almost all activities require the use of technology, and also pleasure, happiness, and improved communication, and easy access to information and social networking. To sum it all up, technology has made our lives easier and more convenient. Disadvantages and Ethical Dilemmas of Modern Technology Because people who are fixated on these technological advancements start and end their days by using such devices, most parents would agree that these devices have made their children lazy and unhealthy. 
people start to skip meals and lack exercise or any bodily movements. They have the tendency to sit and chill all day long without doing anything productive in their homes. It can lead to alienation because of overly dependent on technology. They don't communicate face-to-face -face with the people around them. People, especially children who are not capable yet of rationally deciding for themselves of what is right or wrong, are freely exposed to different things on these technologies without restrictions. Too much exposure to gadgets would lead to development of different kinds of sickness. Robotics and Humanity Service robots focus mainly in assisting their masters in their everyday tasks perform useful tasks for humans or equipment. These robots are products of the innovative minds of people. They are primarily used to ease the workload of mankind to make life more efficient and less stressful. They perform complicated activities which human beings are incapable of doing. There are also robots which are made for pleasure and perform activities that will entertain humans. Manual labor is no longer needed as it is replaced by machines. There is a huge possibility of using machines to adopt with the nature of humans. But the question is, is the Philippines ready for it? That is why there is a need to reflect on the side of ethical problems that these machines pose to humankind. These technologies may benefit the business process outsourcing or BPO industries of countries, but is the Philippines one of them? They may be of huge assistance to humankind, but this is also the reason for the fall of our other industries. Ethical Dilemmas Faced by Robotics Just like any other technological advancement, robotics also face ethical dilemmas. One of the dilemmas faced by robots is safety. Who should be held accountable if someone's safety is compromised by a robot? Who should be blamed? The robot? The agent using the robot? It is important to know who should be blamed and who should be held responsible if such things happen. Second is unemployment. As we replace people with robots, even when they can perform tasks that these robots can do, are we seeing the value of humans as less than those of robots? And when we do replace them, can we make sure that they do not make any mistakes? And if they do, can we guard and prevent them from doing it again on that very moment? Another is humans function like robots. With the use of machines and robots, where humans can easily get their needs by just a few clicks, humans tend to become robots in order to narrow the gap. Internet is another example. With the search engines available online that allow us to type things on our own, read more thoroughly, and understand our lessons, the internet has provided us with sites that can do the work for us. This makes us humans less intelligent as time passes by. Knowing all of these technological advancements in our society and the ethical dilemmas, the real question is how do we balance as technology and humanity cross? The more the society develops with science and technology, the more we are prone to issues and problems. One of them is the lesson practice of human rights. It is important that despite these developments, our human rights are still being practiced, or even better, make it more free, rational, and more loving while embracing science and technology. Thank you for listening. We hope that you have learned a lot regarding this topic.